Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a fuzzy match lookup with Power Query. Now, if you're familiar with lookups in Excel by using like VLOOKUP or index and match, you'll know that it does an exact match lookup for your text or value. With Power Query and the merge feature, there is an option called fuzzy match. It does something similar, but it tries to guess the value that you're trying to match up. It's really neat that it guesses this. So in some cases where you have a value like MSFT, like the acronym for Microsoft, it may look at that and try to match it up and bring back Microsoft all spelled out. So let's see how Fuzzy Match does this. Doing a lookup with Fuzzy Match option selected gives you some flexibility in terms of getting your lookup data. So for example, I have this person here, Kathy Hutchinson or Kathy Hentush, and in the look up table to bring back their job title or the job role, it should be the same person, but there's a IE there and also deals with capital. So I have A, B, L, E all capitalized. This person is the same thing. And this person, Leo, uh, they're called Leonardo. And we'll also want to pay attention to Son Sean Bissell. He shows up twice here. So I want to bring back this row or this column here to here, to my lookup table here. So I'm going to bring this into Power Query and let's see what fuzzy match option in the lookup can do. So turn this into table, control T. And my table does have headers. Click OK. I'll give this table a name. I'll just call it names. And then turn this into table, Control T. And oops, press Escape. Let's do Control T again. My table does have headers. I'll call this one a name, name underscore job. All right. Bring both of these tables in the Power Query. Go to Data from Table and Range. And that brings in that table. I'm going to do it as connection only. Close and load, close and load to a connection only. Click OK. Do the same thing for my name one. Data from table and range and do the same thing. This will be a connection only. Click and load to connection only. Click OK. So as I mentioned before, I'm going to bring in the job row into my names table. And that's going to be a merge. So I'm going to merge this as new. Go to merge queries, merge as new. And this is effectively a lookup, right? So I want to look up name. I'm going to bring back names, jobs. I want to bring back that particular jobs column that is associated with the name. You can see here it only matched four out of the seven. So as I mentioned before, three of them, the, the last three here, were the ones that didn't match. So if I use Fuzzy Match, click on that option there, and it said that Fuzzy Match didn't recognize it. And I found that you had to uh, define the data type first here to text in this particular setting when we're doing text to lookup. So I'm going to click Cancel here and go back to each of these and just select to make sure that is text. That's a text option. Go back to the name jobs. Uh, make sure that is text too. Now go back to the names, go to merge queries, merge is new, do the same thing. I'm gonna select my name. This is my looked up values that are in this column. Use fuzzy match. And now it found a little bit more, it found six, right? And so it found six instead of four. Um, I'm going to turn off case and this will let you see how it looks at it. So if I ignore case, and I'll show this one particular setting later on in a second example, but if I ignore case, you'll see it, it picked up only five because it didn't pick up that one. So let's, let's do that and see what it looks like. I'm going to just go through it and see what it looks like. Go to source, just bring back the, I'll bring back the name and the job and we can see what the output looks like. So you can see Fuzzy Match was able to pick up this option, Kathy and Kath, but it didn't pick up these two. So let's go back to our first step here and change that ignore case. And this is what it does when you change the case. When it, you change that, you have that ignore the case, it will pick up the option here, able, right? How do we get it to pick up this one, Leo? Go back to the source. Let's change our Fuzzy Match configuration, our options here. Click the drop down, and and that's where we look at this option here, the similarity threshold. If I click on that or click the information here, you can see that this looks at the value between zero and one to indicate how much of a threshold uh, will it go through. The default is 0.8. You can see down here, the default is 0.8. If I change it to maybe 0.6, maybe 0.7, let's see what happens. It only it still only matches six, right? So let's try to do 0.6. And that doesn't work. How about 0.5? Let's see if this is a match. No, 0.4. And it does match, 7 to 7. So I'm going to bet that it matched Leo to Leonardo. Click OK. And let's go to our second step 
and it didn't match it. So that's what that particular option does for you. It gives you that threshold of how much to match it. Closer to zero, it's going to be a little bit more lenient or pick up the fuzziness of the match. And closer to one, it's going to be a little bit more exacting. So that's for that configuration. Also, when I point it back for my option for Sean, you can see Sean Bichelle shows up twice here. One as a job role as a carpenter, the other one as a job role as a plaster. That option is selected by, let me go back here in the source. It is selected by this particular configuration setting. Uh, match, maximum number of matches. So if you don't set a parameter here, it's going to give you all the matches. So when you think about it, this is a nice option to use if you want to bring a lookup and look up a table which has different other options to bring back. Um, this gives you that option. But if you wanted to give you the first option, like a regular lookup, then you need to set the maximum number of matches. So we set the maximum number of matches as one, click OK, and then go here. You can see that the Sean Bichot, the second one, drops off. He only shows up as a carpenter. That's the first one. Let me go back here. That's the first one right here instead of having that second one. So that would be a normal or, or the default lookup. If you ever use look, VLOOKUP or XLOOKUP, it's going to do it that way. Right? So that option gives you that with the fuzzy match. Let's go into our second example to see what we can do with the other parameters. So I'm here in my second example. I've got uh, some range of data. And if you worked in an enterprise company and you've got these big customers, you notice like American Express, they have different names. They have subsidiaries or different names of the company. And really, you, you, all, you just want it to all point to American Express company. That's the parent company. But sometimes uh, salespeople go out and they, they go out and they sell to different parts of the company and they have all these different names. So we want to pull back American Express company and pull back the SIC code, the standard industry code for American Express. I'm going to turn this into a table, control T again. Turn that to a table. My table does have headers. Click OK. I'll just call this company, company, press enter. Uh, turn this into a table, control T, and click OK. And this will be just my SIC code, SIC. Now, the goal of this particular example is to look up that name and bring back the SIC code. But what if it doesn't, what if Fuzzy Match is not able to kind of figure out the name? It's really harder for Fuzzy Match to pick up. Um, American Express company from Amex or a certify. You can see that I have these two here. And that begs a need for kind of a like a bridge table or kind of another table. And you don't want to have another lookup to look up this and bring back these this information. And that's what we have here that's called a transformation table. So this is a separate table that kind of aids in helping to do the fuzzy match. I'm going to turn this into a table to control T. And I'll, I'll use this later to, as an example. Click OK, and I'll just call it the uh, transform, right? You don't need to call it transform, but I'll just call it transform because it's actually a transformation table in the nomenclature for this particular fuzzy match. So I'll bring this into Power Query, go to data from table and range, and make a, it as a connection only, close and load, close and load to connection only, and do the same thing for the other table. This table, bring it into data from table and range. And this will also be a connection only table. Click and close and load. Close and load to connection only. And the same thing for my transformation table. Bring that in as a connection only table, right? Close and load. And I will close and load it as a connection only, right? And now I'm going to bring the company name table. And that will be the merge table. That will be the table I want to look up and bring back the SIC code. So here, I'll do merge queries, the same as merge as new and do the lookup with the fuzzy match. I need to look up the name, go into my SIC table and bring back that SIC code, All right? Use the fuzzy, right now it's not bringing anything. Oh, I did the same thing here. I need to make those text, so cancel. Let's make this as text only instead of uh, the unknown. Go to text here, do the same thing for that one, make that text, All right? And transform, might as well make these text here because it's gonna look at that and bring back that. I don't think I need to do it for that, but let's check later on and see what happens. Go back to company, go to merge queries, merge is new. And now I'm going to select my name, go to my sick table and click on that name. These are the, these are the columns you're going to look up to have my fuzzy match. It's only match three or eight. Let's click okay. And let's bring it in. And so we can take a look at it later on. So I'm going to expand that. I don't care about that. This is just for testing. Click okay. And you can see it's only matched that first one, which of course it would in the last two here, but it didn't match any of these here. So let's see what we can do to make it match a little bit more. 
First, I'm going to look at these two. You can see that we have American space, and this is because, let me go back here, this is because of a selection. It's on by default, right? So we have, the, we have this selection here, which says match by combining text parts. And you can see that I give you an example here. I have this unchecked and click OK. You notice that if I go back here to the second step, it didn't match it. So that particular option, which is set by default, the check mark set by default, lets Power Query know doing the fuzzy match, you can combine those two together and it will look it up. So that's nice that it's kind of selected by default. Let's recheck that box again and make sure it does it. So it'll pick those two out. So then now maybe you want to change the similarity threshold. So we want to change it from 0.8 maybe to 0.5. Let's see if it picks up anything else more. Now it matches match six out of eight. And so there's only two left. So I'm going to select that. It's it's a test. So you, it's kind of like you test it out. You go from 0.8 to 0.7 to 0.6. I kind of knew the, the data here already. So I'm just going to go. I just went to 0.5 uh, just to make it a little bit more quicker here in this example. Now I go to my second step where I expand it. And this is the where this is where it won't match, right? If I go even to 0.1, it's not going to match. Go back to my source here. Select that. Even if, I'll show you. If you even if I went to 0.1, it's not going to match it, right? So I did 0.1 it's still going to match six out of eight. So I didn't even need to go to that. Maybe 0.6 would be okay. Three of eight now is 0.5. So 0.5 match most of it. And this is where now we need the transformation table, right? So I need the transformation table, basically a lookup for this particular name and a lookup for that particular name and highlight it to American Express Company. And so, so we need to bring in that transform table. Go back to source, click on my gear icon, my settings, click on the fuzzy match options, and right here at the bottom, we have our transformation table. So this is going to bring in that transform table, that from and to columns. So I have my transform table, and it didn't pick it up because I bet you it didn't have that text option on the second column that was not selected. Let's go back uh, and take care of that. Let's go to the transform table and take care of that and make sure that that's text. Now go back to merge. And as you see, when I changed it, it picked it up, right? So I went, my, went back to my source, click on that gear icon. My transformation table is there. You can click on the icon here to give you some information about that, right? So if I didn't select that, if I had nothing, you can see it's still at 6.8. But if I click my transform table, make sure the data type is text from and to for that particular option. Click OK. And now it picked it up. Go to my second step here. It picked it up brought back my SIC code for even the a certify and Amex. So you can see fuzzy match. It takes some getting used to and maybe some playing around with the options in the fuzzy match. But you can see it's kind of powerful that you don't have to do exact matches or you don't have to rely on exact matches using the fuzzy match option. You can play around and get as much data to be looked up as possible and maybe put it into another table and then do some further refinement. So that's how we can do a fuzzy match lookup using Power Query. So I hope you find Fuzzy Match in the Power Query Merge Future useful in your case. For more videos like this, check out the banner at the end.